Okay, so let's have a look at this homework、uh, for the reaction table question two. So for any unbalanced reactions, the first thing you need to do is balance the reactions. You can see we have two moles of aluminium here, and then there's one mole of aluminium. We need to put a two here. So once we put a two here, and then there are two moles of sodium. Therefore, we need to put two moles of sodium here. The rest we just need to balance hydrogen and oxygen. So from aluminium oxide we have three moles of oxygen, and from sodium hydroxide we have two moles of oxygen. Here we have five moles of oxygen. On the product side, each hydroxide is one oxygen. Four hydroxides there will be four hydrox、uh, four hyd、uh, oxygen, and then you have two moles of the overall compound. There are eight oxygen. It means with lack of three oxygens, we just need to put a three here. Okay. And then everything will be properly balanced, and we can see the stoichiometry ratio for this reaction would just be one to two to three to two ratio. Okay. Yeah, we need one proportion of the aluminium oxide, two proportion of sodium hydroxide, three proportion of water. All together, you form four a、uh, two piece of sodium aluminium hydroxide. So remember, in our reaction column, everything will follow the stoichiometry ratio, which is one, two, three, two. The next step, we need to decide the limiting reagent because there are three substances. We need to consider them three times. So consider what we initially have, and calculate how much we need to form a perfect reaction. So a perfect reaction need one piece of that, two piece of sodium, three piece of water. Okay. So if we have two moles of aluminium hydroxide. Yeah. And we will need four moles of sodium hydroxide, and then we will need six moles of water. You can see two, four, six follows a one to two to three ratio. Okay, or we can start with three moles of sodium hydroxide. Okay, yeah. So three moles of sodium sodium hydroxide. Remember, sodium hydroxide to aluminium oxide and water is also one. To two to three ratio. Okay, so two ratio three proportion. One ratio it would be one point five. Okay, and then three ratios would be four point five. Okay, four point five. That's how much we need, and then let's just say if we have four moles of water, let's consider how much sodium,、uh, aluminium hydroxide, and sodium hydroxide, all aluminium oxide and sodium hydroxide we need. So water is three proportion. Okay, and then aluminium oxide is one proportion, and sodium hydroxide is two proportion. Okay, so three proportion is four ratio. Therefore, one proportion is one point three three, which is one point three three, and the two proportion is two point. Six seven. Okay, so that's how much we need, and then we always need to have a look at how much we have. How much we have is all written in this table. Two three four, two three four, two three four, and then two three four. Okay, the red highlighted area is how much we have, based on initial. Okay, initial tells you initially how much you have. This one tells you initially how much we have, and we use the stoichiometry ratio to calculate how much we need. Based on the stoichiometry ratio, which is one to two to three ratio, for those three substance,、uh, for those three substance. So now let's draw some conclusions. So. We need four moles. We only have three moles, so lack of sodium hydroxide. We need six moles. We only have four moles. Okay, so you can see we lack of both means Al two O three. This is definitely in excess. This is definitely in excess. And then let's have a look at the next one. We need one point five. We do have two. Okay, and then we need four point five, and then we have four. Okay, yeah, so you can see. We need 4.5. We only has four. Okay, so water is in excess. Oh, water is we lack of water. We need this much 4.5, but we only we can maximum provide four. So we lack of water. Therefore, sodium hydroxide is also in excess. Okay, sodium hydroxide is also in excess. The last one we just need to look at water. Okay, so we need 1.33, but we have 
two, we have more than enough. We need two point six seven, we have three. Okay, we also have more than enough. Therefore, water is the limiting reagent. Okay, water is the limiting reagent. Yeah, so we just come back to the question and then label it with a big circle and then write down limiting reagent. So that's one way to decide which one is the limiting reagent. Remember, there's, an, uh, there's another method. We said method two. Okay. You can use the smallest initial to stoichiometry ratio. Okay. Initial to stoichiometry ratio. So using the initial divided by the stoichiometry ratio. Okay. For aluminum oxide, sodium hydroxide, and water. Yeah, their initial is two, three, four, okay. and their stoichiometry ratio from the balanced equation is one, two, three. Okay. And we can divide to work out the ratio. So two divided by one is two, three divided by two is one point five, four divided by three is one point three three. So this is the smallest, and that further confirms the water is definitely the uh, limiting reagent. Okay, water is definitely the limiting region. Doesn't matter which method you use. Yeah. So if we consume four moles of water, we will consume one point three three moles of sodium uh, aluminum hydroxide or aluminum oxide, and then also consume two point six seven moles of sodium hydroxide. Okay, you can see one point three, two point six seven, and four. They do follow the one to two to three ratio. Here is also two, but that's a product. We need to use a plus sign. Okay, because you're producing product. So two point six seven. Yeah. So what's final? Final just equals to initial plus reaction. Okay, initial plus reaction. So 2 plus negative 1.33 left with 0 0.67. 3 plus negative 2.67 left with 0 0.77. 4 plus negative 4 is 0. And 1 plus 2.67 is 3.67. Yeah, and then remember we said that the limiting reagent in the end is always 0. Okay. Limiting reagent, the final column always equals zero because you shouldn't have any leftovers for limiting reagent. Yeah, so for more than two substances, if you have like five substances react together to form one compound, there is only one limiting reagent. Yeah, only one limiting reagent.